Today, I'm starting a new series called Quick Tips, where I pick a Rainbow Six Siege operator and give you a quick rundown of their kit and attachments. And then I give you a couple tips you can use to get good with said operator. If there's an operator you want to see in a future video, leave a comment below and let me know. Finally, if you think this video is helpful, leave a like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch and we have an active Discord. Links in the description. First up is Mozzie. Mozzie is a two armor, two speed defender who excels at intel denial and used to be great at roaming. Rip shorty. He comes equipped with either a Commando 9 assault rifle or a P10 Roni. For the Commando 9, I run a hollow sight with angled grip and a compensator. For the P10 Roni, I run the 1.5 scope compensator, angled grip, and laser sight. As secondary, he has a decent pistol in the SDP 9mm. For gadgets, he carries barbed wire and a nitro cell. If you plan on anchoring, barbed wire is always a great help to your team to close off choke points, but when roaming, I find the nitro cell to be the obvious choice. Finally, he runs a pest launcher, which shoots little mech spiders that capture drones if they drive into their range. So let's get into the tips. Both of Mozzie's primary weapons are very, very good, but they are both entirely dependent on your gun skill as a player. For example, I'm not great at getting headshots. I usually shoot bodies, so for myself, I usually run the Commando 9. It's got a great rate of fire and does decent damage. A few good body shots will take an enemy down. The P-10 Roni, however, is hailed as a headshot machine. The recoil is close to non-existent, and the fire rate is 980 RPM. This is great, but the damage isn't as good as the Commando. If you're good at spring for headshots, this is a great gun for you. With the recent upgraded sights update, the 1.5 zoom makes this gun incredibly powerful. End of the day, if you're already winning gunfights left and right, the Roni should be your choice. If you aren't having a good day, then the Commando is a better option, strictly because, well, it, it's safer. I still see a lot of people blasting their pests in sight at the start of prep phase. Don't do this. It's a common misconception that Mozzie's strength is in capturing and using enemy drones. While this is a good thing, it's not always the best thing. Instead, shoot your pests at the end of prep phase. Think about it. If you shoot them during prep, sure, you will get intel in the form of captured drones, but suddenly you aren't going to be an effective intel denier, which is just as important. Worse, it's pretty common for someone to bring a barricade down a door which will break your pest if it's not placed correctly. Did he just break your thing? Ask yourself this, what are defenders usually doing during prep phase? Answer, setting up defenses and shooting drones. If the attackers are droning like dummies, they're going to lose their drones to defenders shooting them out. So the best way to get utility out of your pests is to use them when they matter most, during the attack phase. This is when pests shine. Shoot them as soon as the prep phase is over. Attackers can't deal with defenders in sight if they can't drone them out. This is what makes Mozzie and Mute great defenders to pair together for ultimate intel denial. When placing pests, place them either on hot traffic drone holes or place them a little ways up a door frame. Placing pests sporadically in random hallways is not helpful, and pests that aren't lined up on a door frame won't be effective. It's very difficult for drones to jump past pests on door frames, but it is possible. Double doors are easily vaultable, but single doors require a nearby staircase or other map-specific geometry for drones to propel themselves from. If you place your pest a little higher on the door frame, however, it's much more difficult for drones to squeeze through. There are two ways to distribute your pests either on site to deny intel into site or off site, creating what I call a pest nest. Uh, there's another content creator named Braction, and he has a great video on this. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But the idea is that you pick a high traffic location outside of site, then use your pests to block off drone intel into that location. So for example, if I'm playing Villa and we're defending games in aviation, I might roam into bedroom. I'll place a pest here, here, and here. I'll pick a place to hide out, maybe the bathtub, and it's going to be really hard for attackers to safely push this side of the building. So you can use this as an opportunity to waste their time and rotate back to site if you need to. This is one of the few times I'll consider intentionally trying to capture a drone, but if there's high traffic entryways near site that attackers like to use, a good example is the bowl window on Outback, it might be a good idea to capture a drone in the prep phase, then place that drone in bowl so it can watch the window. Then I'll go downstairs and I'll place a nitro cell under the window. Periodically, as I'm sitting in my pest nest, I'll check the drone, and now I'm ready to nitro cell any overeager attackers who try to break through the window. So, intel and a free kill. So that's it. Quick tips on Mozzie. If you have any Mozzie tips I missed, leave them in the comments below. Best of luck in your seat.
Right, get some.